Hello farmers, welcome back to the Pacific Northwest, and if it's not obvious enough, it's winter time. <laughs> yeah, it's winter. And we got a little, little surprise in our front yard. Hey Frosty, what's up? What is up? Uh, so it's the second day of winter. As you can see, we got 121,000 from doing work in the fields below. Our chickens are still producing eggs. I think there's 63 eggs in there at the moment. But today, uh, we're going to sell some stuff and buy some stuff and, and do things on a farm. So, <laughs> uh, if we go in here, I was looking at this, uh, triticals, which what we have in inventory. Uh, right now is one of the highest days of the year. Now, I can't really say this is accurate enough because we haven't played a full season. So this will adjust as we go past a few days. But from what I'm seeing, I think today is the day we just sell that. Oh, as well, as you can see, you got a little down spike here and we're kind of near the peak again. We don't have much of that. Uh, what we have a lot of is wheat. And as you can see, wheat is near the peak as well. But like I said, we can't really count for the last four days of winter because we haven't played a full season. So seasons has not adjusted the pricing just yet. Uh, so if we go here, uh, this should be Tritical right here. So right now it's, I can't really, I don't, I don't feel like going to the railroad and doing all that fun stuff. So I'll probably bring it right to Robert's Farms. Uh, Millet, which I didn't check. Price is going up a little bit here and here. That seems to be the best price there. Oh, price is going up here, but going down there. So depending on what we do there. And wheat right now, price is going up here and here. So we'll have to see where it is in a few minutes. Actually, let me speed up time just a little bit. But, oh... Uh, Make sure I hit the right key. Let's go to the map. Wrong button. We're going to visit the shop today. I realize I can just hit the P button and get to the shop, but... We're coming down here to trucks. Because we're buying a truck first. And this is what we're buying right here. A nice little Volvo. So attachers, yes we want a trailer hitch. Speed limiter... I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll take the speed limiter off. Main color. Uh, I always go a little crazy. Uh, standard wheel set. Y tires. I want all we want all the lights and interactive controls cause nothing. So it's 128.6, which we do not have the money for. But that is not a problem, obviously, because we're going to get. Uh, we're going to borrow. We'll just borrow 30000 for now. Alright, let's go back in here. and got, Probably got to do it all over again, right? Uh, yeah, so we want a trailer hitch. No speed limiter. I really want... We can change that color afterwards if it's too much. It might be too much. I don't know. Why tires? We want all lights. Uh, interactive control. I don't really use too much when I play, but, you know, it's free, so we'll get it. Uh, 128.6. Yes, please. All right, we're not going to look at it just yet because we also want to go into forestry. And it's, uh, do I have 19,000? Yes. Uh, standard. I always like wide tires for some reason. Don't ask me why. 19.6, we'll buy that as well. So that's all the buying we're doing for today. But let's go outside and take a look at our truck. Very nicely done. I think, anyways. Why tires? I can remove the strobe lights? Interesting. I did not know that. Nice little ding ding as it fires up. As we look at the inside. Nicely done, I, again, with the Volvo sign in the back. Let's uh, see, so left all. Wow, look at all the controls. Radio, you can turn the radio there. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. I 
keep hitting the wrong button. All right, so what we got here? Cruise control you can set. Hazard lights. I mean, as you can activate all the buttons from inside, which is nice. Turn off ignition. Move fifth wheel coupling forward or backwards. Whole bunch of stuff. Open right window. Uh, mirrors locked. Yeah, let's lower that window. Uh, okay, I thought just have to hit it once and it goes all the way down. Uh, it's middle of winter, so I think we should put that up. Uh, but if you go on the outside here, so we got a lot of light settings on this one here. So I think I, you can hit it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, if you count the off section, you got six different light settings. So, yeah, you can go nuts there. But uh, this sucker does have the horsepower. 700, 750? Right? I think it's 750. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it better be the Volvo, so it's 750. Top of the line, this is the top of the line, the FH16 750 Special Editions. Just mirrors, move, semi, so yeah. Rain sensing wipers. Okay. I don't think I've driven in this in the rain just yet. But, we need to bring the logging truck and trailer, well, this is the truck. We need to bring the trailer up to the farm anyways. Whoa, Duke, 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 seriously. Couldn't see me turning around here. So the one thing about the mat, uh, there's a snow mask on the road, so I think as, they, as the editor put it, the county plows the roads, so it's kind of plowed in that sense. Which is fine by me. I'm not one that wants to go around and plow the roads when we're trying to do some work. I will say it feels a little weird now actually having a vehicle on this road. Well, we had the pickup truck for a while. Oh yeah, so we turn on the beacons. You can see the beacons everywhere on this thing. Probably should turn them on going up the hill. So now all of our money's gone, and we got a little bit of a loan to pay off. Just thirty thousand. Well, that is slick. All right. We'll decouple that. Uh, where did I leave? Okay, I don't remember where I put the trailer. I mean, I didn't think I'd put it in there. That's where the header and combine are. Uh, survey says... I'm just sitting here thinking. Uh, Alright. I, I don't remember where the trailer is. Did I, I didn't leave it down here. Oh, it's down at the cows. Because it's got... Yeah, it's got the silage in it. Alright. So hopefully I can empty all the silage out, but uh, I'll meet you down by the moo cows. Well, this thing took no time at all getting down here. Alright, let's see if we can uh, get rid of all this power food that's in here. If not, we'll have to dump it somewhere. I think they'll take it all. Yes, they did. Now we can see the cows are getting low on grass, but that's n nothing like... Well, they still, the grass is just grass. It's not grass and something else, right? Yes, yeah, so I cannot feed them grass in the wintertime anyways. Sheep will have to look after at some point. 
Oh, the cow's health is up to 51%, so that's... It's getting better. As long as we keep up with the power of food and all that. Let's go sell some stuff so we can pay off for loan. So we don't have to pay no interest. So I'll meet you back up at the farm. Feels good doing 50 miles an hour up a hill with the trailer. Slip and slide, slip and slide. All right, what should we take first is the question. So the wheat price is still going up. Well, this is saying somewhat the same as is this, and this is going up here. I say we take this first, which I believe is a, a Tritical, to Robert's Farms. All right, now I need to learn where Robert's Farms is. Oh, it's not, it's actually up here. All right, so down the road, all the way up there. All right. And away we go. Get to see a little bit more of the map again today. I really haven't been around the map since we started uh, doing the Let's Play. I think we'll hop into the cab. Yeah, doing 60 miles an hour in a truck with a load of grain in the back. Probably should pop up the map just so I can make sure I know where I'm kind of going. So we're not going to get the, the best prices, but, you know, we need to make some cash. Oh, it's not all the roads are plowed. Am I to turn down here? Is this the road? Between these trees. According to the map, I'm on the road. But I guess this would be a private driveway and the county wouldn't uh, snow plow this, right? Now the problem is, I don't know where the sail point is because the snow is covering everything. Uh, wait a minute. There we go. It's actually out back. No problem. Although I'm going to have to back out of here, but so be it. Pretty cow is not accepted here. Uh, okay, so where? Robert's Farms. Did I? Oh, because I'm only at the Cliff House restaurant. Wow, that's a major fail. I got to keep that in the video now, don't I? Oh, man, now I'm stuck in here. How good is the Volvo truck and trailer? On snow on a cliff. Like a boss. Real life wouldn't happen, but <laughs> maybe it's the wide tires. Now I gotta get out of here. Well, that really threw me for a loop and it says not accepted here. I was like, what are you talking about? Why don't you guys say something? I mean, come on. All right. So it must be on another private road.
tailing itself pretty well in the snow, he says as he runs into a tree. Where's the cell point? I'm not sure I'm on a road and I don't think I am. Uh, Alright, let's get out of the truck so I can see. Oh, right in front of me now. There, now can we watch the money go up? Almost able to pay off the load <laughs> with one load, which is nice. Real nice. So yeah, we had to borrow a little bit of money, but really, we just needed the equipment that we bought to make a sale. Alright, I'll meet you back at our farm. We'll figure out what we're taking next and go from there. This thing flies down the road. Did about 80 miles an hour down the road, <laughs> down the road with no traffic. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we did... So we're out of that, which is fine. That is still going up. I think what I'm going to do is with the prices going up on a few things, uh, I'm going to fast forward time and I'll bring it back when maybe the prices have stopped going up. Turn off the engine here. So it's about 12.30 in the day, so I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so it didn't take too long. We need to go to the Timberline Flour Mill, which is just up here. And the price did top off at seven fifty. Sunrise Bakery, five dollars more. But the price is going down. That really does suck, man. That really does suck. Uh oat price is still going up. And the millet price is kind of going up. But I think because we want the money, we need to sell some stuff. Uh, we'll take a load of wheat. Right on up there. So let's fill her up. I think this holds, what, 31,000? Yeah, 31,000. Take her up there, make another sale. That way when we can pay off our loan. I love it when you start this truck, it just goes ding, ding, and then it fires up. I knew you were going to turn down here, fella. Really? Honk your horn at me? I'll run you over. Turd. Alright, let's see if we can get lost here. Hopefully I'm going the right way. But by selling this, we'll be able to repay off our loan that we had for a couple hours. Take it easy through the snowpack. Okay. Doesn't want to turn in the snow. Must be a little bit of an uphill there. Take all the way out of the front wheels. Uh, where's your trigger? There it is. That is a narrow spot too. Which is fun when you can't turn the vehicle because of the snow and the weight is not really distributed well for this truck either. So our harvest from the first year is finally paying off for itself.
So the first thing I want to do uh, there we go actually do we actually pay any interest today wage payment oh the that's for the kids picking up the eggs on the hen house but we didn't pay no interest really I'm stuck on that brick there we go All right, back to the farm we go. Did that drop the price of wheat though? It sure did quite a bit. Okay, so I think I'm gonna hold off on sales for now. That price is still going up, that price is going up. So let's go back. We're gonna hook up the, uh, the logging trailer, head up to the forestry area. Now I think we'll cut down just a couple of trees, get it back in, the back in the logger the uh, it's an auto loader so that's the way I roll when it comes to logging <laughs> I don't mind doing stacking once in a while but with those funny trees in our fields I've already done more than more than enough I think so I'll meet you up in the forestry area all right we'll cut down in here kind of follow the railroad tracks just a little bit I knew there's an entryway in here somewhere, but being all snow packed, it's. Don't get stuck on the tracks, dude. Come on, power over. So for now, we're just going to park the truck here. If it, if it can uh, stay steady, that'd be great. And I'm going to cut down some trees. And I'll bring it back in a while. Because you don't want to hear that loud noise for a long time, do you? So I cut down about five trees. Getting messy in here. It's time to get the auto-loading trailer in here. And clean some of this up. Uh, now since this is the first time I've used it... I gotta make sure everything's set up correctly. Uh, actually, I want the right side. B, start auto load. And hopefully, I didn't cut them too long. That one's too long. Oh well. Bam, bam. My guess is a lot of these might be too long. I'll probably also get stuck with the snow up here. Whoop, whoop. Saw you there. A little bit hopeful for how big of a log I could take, but it's been a while since I had to come down by hand to judge the size of these things. Uh oh. No. What am I stuck on, man? I knew doing this in the winter was not a good idea. He... Where's the will? There's a way. Just put it in full drive, dude. You're fine. I knew doing this in the winter would be a little bit of a problem, but... 
Now we got a log stuck between my wheels. Neither one will. Kind of hard to actually see the terrain that you're around. There we go. There's those two. There's that one there. Can I get close enough to that one? We sure can. Uh, I think it's O to switch sides. Is that one too long or am I not on left side? Either I'm not close enough or the log is too long. And it must have been too long because I picked up one. can't get up the hill far enough to pick up that log. I got so used to using the uh, Ponzi cutter for cutting at certain lengths. There, I took that. Actually, I didn't think five trees would be enough to Fill up the logging trail as much as it has because that log's way too long. Is that log still too long? Yes, it was. I don't think I can cheat and get this one in. Ooh, it grabbed the other one though. And it grabbed that one, but that one does not quite stay in now, does it? Alright, we'll just switch sides again. Make it the right side. Okay, fasten the belts. Now I do have a limb up there, but that's way up on the hill. Let's turn that off. We can turn the map off because we know we're going. So let's take a journey together down to the lumber area. Hopefully. Is that log strapped in? Must be. I don't see a strap going around it, but... I know the road's there somewhere that we're on. I can kind of see it here. Actually, I don't think... I think it would be easier if I went... Let me look at the map again. I think it would be easier if I can, first of all, get on the map. Yeah, if we just go straight, I was going to cut down through here, but I think it would be easier if we just go out straight and then turn. So there's a milk selling point, which now that we got a truck, we just need a tanker. And that's what doing some of these logging, the logging missions, or not, yeah, now I'm calling them missions like uh, I'm doing jobs for the farmers. 
But uh, selling these logs, I think it's 70,000 per tanker that we got to buy. And I think we got to buy like four of them. But originally, the first set of tankers, the first tanker we buy is going to be for liquid slurry, fertilizer, maybe diesel fuel. But I do like this truck. This mod is very well done, I think. It's better than uh, using the John Deere and the Joskins right now, trying to lift the, the logs up. And just get a few logs in there to bring it down for, what, I think the best we did was like 11 grand, 12 grand, something like that. I don't think I'm on the road. <laughs> I don't know where I, where I am exactly. Where is this road, man? Right here. I am completely off the road. I turned sooner than I had to. Yeah, I went off the road completely. It's funny how a little snow cover can throw you off to where the roads are. Almost there. Oh, you'd think the logging company would have the road plowed. Now, the one thing I do want to test, because we've been dumping the logs in the river, which is all good and fine, and whoa, that's a little slick. There is a cell point here. I don't know if it does anything now. There should be one to the left. Now that we got an auto loader, I think what we'll do is uh, left side X start unload. Yep, we'll take them on that side. Sweet. So what we get like twenty five grand for that? It wasn't even a full trailer. Uh, that's harvest income. Where's... Sold wood. 31 grand. Not bad for a quick trailer trip. So, probably in the next episode we'll do like another trailer load. Which will get us up to 80. 80,000, something like that. So we can buy, finally, our first tanker and we can start bringing stuff to the bioprocessing plant and bringing some liquid fertilizer to the seed master. It's only the second day of winter, plus we also got... Oh, let's see, how are the prices doing here? Whoops. Yeah, the, that sale killed our, that wheat price by like 90 but ninety dollars, man. Uh, where is the Sunrise Bakery? Maybe we'll take one to the Sunrise Bakery if I can find that. Oh, right here. Right down by the shop. But actually, I think I'll keep that until the next episode. Oops, I want to turn that off. We'll sell some more... We'll sell some grain. We'll then buy a tanker. And then we'll start taking care of uh, our bioprocessing stuff. Uh, this, like I said, the seed master. 
But one more thing I would like to show you before we call an episode. Just so if you do play on the map and you do play with seasons but you haven't got to winter yet, you're not going to know. So the water in by the cows, we will block traffic. As you can see, it's froze over. Now I haven't tried bringing my water tanker over to see if it would still fill. I don't know if it will or won't. Ah, that, that's a beauty of a, of a truck right there. The color I do like as well. You need to take a screenshot of that because that might be the thumbnail. So, yeah, that green's not too bad. I thought when I first picked on the guts, gonna be too bright of a green. Well, let's bring the truck back up to the farm, so the logging truck will be up there. So now we have a way to start making some actual money ourselves. And at some point, we may have to buy a planter for trees. Now I know in seasons, I think it'll take what five years. Before it gets fully grown if someone knows otherwise please correct me below because i don't think i've ever done tree growing in seasons the previous map i had had a huge forest area uh, i think i cut down somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 trees and i still couldn't plant trees on the map because it was telling me you got too many trees on the map uh, okay <laughs> that's how many that's how many trees i had left to go Man, that is slick. Come on. You can do it. We'll park this back up here for now. We'll probably begin the next episode. We'll sell some more grain. Well, yeah, I'm not paying attention. Oh, we'll sell some more grain. We'll buy that tanker. Spend some more of our money. Turn those off. Buy, and and uh, we'll take care of, so because, you know, we're going to need some more seed. Definitely more uh, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer will go to the seed master. And probably have to take care of the sheep. And, well, the cow, I can't get the cow's grass, so they'll just have to deal with it. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching another episode of the Pacific Northwest. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And until next time, have a good one.